Now to politics, the gloves are off on Capitol Hill. The House Speaker has accused the Attorney General of breaking the law. That's right, and the White House is defending William Barr tonight after he refused to testify about the Russia investigation today. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us with details on the escalating feud between Barr and lawmakers. Dave? Yeah, this was a rough day at the Capitol, not a good day for the faint of heart. Democrats were not amused by Attorney General William Barr's disappearing act at today's scheduled hearing, and it has touched off a fierce battle between the White House and Congress. The Attorney General of the United States may even be cited for being in contempt of Congress. Setting the tone for another day of bitter dispute and allegations about Attorney General William Barr's handling of the Mueller report and his refusal to testify before the House Judiciary Committee on Thursday, one Democratic congressman taunted Barr's absence by bouncing into the hearing room with a ceramic chicken. And just in case you missed the symbolism, the chicken was placed on the table where Barr was supposed to sit today, along with a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Chicken Barr should have shown up today and answered questions. Attorney General Barr has informed us that he will not appear today. Republicans accused the Democrats of sabotaging what should have been an important hearing. Instead, we go back to a circus political stunt to say we want it to look like an impeachment hearing because they won't bring impeachment proceedings. All this on a day when the highest ranking Democrat, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, called the highest ranking law enforcement officer a liar. The Attorney General of the United States of America was not telling the truth to the Congress of the United States. That's a crime. Hancock Park Congresswoman Karen Bass told CNN that Barr's fast and loose Bob, approach to telling the truth is a reflection of the administration he's representing. One of the things that we are seeing, and, and unfortunately we have, we have seen from day one with this administration, is a sense of contempt for the rule of law. The Justice Department quickly shot back, calling Pelosi's baseless attack on the Attorney General reckless, irresponsible, and false. And in one more signal of how poison the political environment has become on Capitol Hill, this is how today's very brief House hearing came to a contentious ending with a Republican congressman's mic being silenced. It's going to be, Mr. Chairman, where there, are, there is not going to be a recognition of members who seek legitimate inquiry as to the procedures. Oops, that's right. The mic was turned off and the session ended. Uh, Chairman Nadler gaveled out, cut the microphones off, and walked out of the hearing room, leading, leaving Republicans without a voice. Jeff, back to you.